Right, so about this time last year, I took the M140i up to Total Tintin for a chameleon windscreen tint, and well, I was surprised at how much I liked it, to be honest. So much so that when I sold the BM and picked up something to replace it with, it just felt a little bit plain. Anyway, after riding around in the Acti all summer along with it looking like this, I thought, why not change it up for the shows next year? Let's call it Project Hot Wheels. And the first little modification involves me driving back up to meet Jamie and Jeff at the Total Tinting headquarters. That's right, the van's getting a chameleon tint too, because it doesn't get enough attention as it is now. <laughs> no mucking about today, let's get into it. Hi, that's right, I'm making the trip back up to Sunderland again. I love the way this van looks at the moment, but for the sake of a couple of hundred quid, I'm going to throw some reversible mods on there, and if I don't like them, I can just take them straight off. Total Tintin is the place to go in the northeast for any sort of window tints, and this isn't a sponsored video, by the way. It's genuinely what everyone up here would say, so make sure you go follow them over on the socials to keep up to date with the latest deals and products because they're adding new ones all of the time. The tint that I've chosen today doesn't have a name yet, I'm the first person to actually have it fitted, so if you have any ideas on what you think it should be called, then post it down below in the comments. I did ask that question over on Instagram, and the best reply I got was, well, <laughs> this. So if you can think of anything better than Linda, then it'll probably be the new name for the tint. The first thing to do was to get rid of the sunstrip and clean the windscreen before laying the tint over the front of the van and cutting it roughly to size. The tint does get applied to the inside of your windscreen, but you couldn't shape it with a heat gun and a stainless blade on the outside because, well, it's just easier. Now, I've already watched Jamie do this on my BM, so I decided to crack on fitting some other little bits to the back of the van. I've bought these brackets from a place called Odd Devices, and they'll come in really handy when I want to strap my Grom onto the back of the van to take it to shows and stuff. Easy as to install, it's literally a case of me just replacing the existing bolts with some that were 5mm longer. I finished it off with some bright comb washes just so they stood out a little bit more, and yeah, they'll be getting used more than you think. In the meantime, Jamie was cracking on inside of the cab, squeegeeing all the water from behind the tint. We couldn't get the little rope towel thingy that he normally puts inside of the vents to soak all of the excess water up in the vents on the van, so we just had to make sure we covered up all of the electrics underneath the dash. And once all of the pockets of water were forced out, it was looking really nice. He even remade my sunstrip for me, because he is the absolute boy up. If you're going to book in with Jamie and you don't have a YouTube video to film, then like I said before last time I was here, you can chill out in the waiting area, and maybe even grab some cleaning products. From start to finish, the process took about two hours, so you're not waiting there long at all. Anyway, I pulled the van outside, and as you can see, the tint in direct sunlight is almost invisible, and unlike the Ocean Rise tint that I had fitted on the M140i, there is no yellow tinge from the inside of the cab, which is beaut. This tint also has a mega transparency reading. Anything over 75 is a pass, and we were flickering between 88 and 89, so it's well within tolerance. When I got it back home and the light was dropping, the colours really started to come out. I've mentioned before that these tints seem to work best either on an evening or when the sky is a little bit overcast. You've got orangey reds running all the way through to dark blue, and I'm super happy with how it looks, because as far as these tints go, it's actually quite subtle. <laughs> If you want to see the tinting process from start to finish in a bit more detail, that's absolutely fine. I'll stick a link in the top right hand corner for you to go and watch the video that I made first time I visited Total Tinting in the BM. And let me know what you think of the new tint down below. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but the whole point of this van is to be a little bit ridiculous, so, you know, I think it fits the bill. Remember to do all the usual stuff, like, comment and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!